replay viewers, how you doing? Gotta wait for folks to get on here. You're seeing the replay, or we're going live. It's live. Anything can happen, y'all. Anything can happen. Sporting the Great American Farm Tour t-shirt. Get those while you can. Down in the description below, got a link. Going away, 7 p.m. Sunday. Hey guys, got some people rolling in. Nick, how you doing, buddy? Uh, like to say hello to people as we get started. Gonna have a lot of fun tonight, hopefully. It's gonna be the last of the three series. Hi, everybody's coming in, saying hi as ever. Randy, I agree with you. It's the best shirt ever. It's so comfortable. I've already, uh, I'm ahead of the game <coughs> tonight. As Rebecca and I say, we're winning. Already uh, edited, already edited tomorrow's video. Already had dinner, already taken the bath. These people had bath. The, the host they had a bath, man. So uh, we're ready to go to bed. Love you too, John Perry. Ottawa in the house. Uh, hi to everyone as you come in. Kentucky, Toronto. I just love that um, you guys come in and you tell me where you're from. It's so fun. And now I, I have real connections with all these states. It's absolutely beautiful. Virginia, Joel Salatin, right? Been there, played there, met a lot of you guys there. Sin City, farming, Las Vegas. Wonderful spirit. Vegas strong. Strong people there. Australia. I've been there too. Jeff Lawton. A great time of uh, two weeks training in uh, permaculture. Alabama. Don't have stories there yet. Going there very soon. Actually, that gets me into the show. Looks like we got 100 folks on here. Wow, 160. It just went up that fast. So I'm going to get into the meat of the show here. Florida. Lots of stories of Florida. You talking Alabama and Florida. I got something to tell you guys. I'm going to give you guys some inside scoop. I'm going to tell you some of our plans of what we want to do. The tour is almost over for us, guys. We're getting home January 2nd, but the tour is pretty much going to be over for us early December. So I'm going to tell you about that and what's going on and what you can expect from the show during December. It's going to be very different um, one way or the other. So let's get into that. But first, I got to plug it. I got to plug it. Randy Kleiman's plugging it on here saying this is the best shirt ever. It really is. This is organic cotton, super soft. It's one of those soft kind of shirts. I use mine as a pajama. You know, I like to wear the colored shirts during the day. I've got a Just Plant shirt too. It's awesome. We've got the Great America Farm shirt in white and black. We've got the Just Plant white and black. We've got the uh, the stainless steel mugs. I use that every day for my bulletproof coffee. Absolutely fabulous, as the beautiful one would say. And we're coming out with a 2018 calendar. Already got it designed. It's ready to go. Taking orders on all this stuff. Plus the pre-order the documentary at 20% off right now. That's all I need to say about that. Uh, sales over Sunday at 7 p.m. Thanks for bearing with me, guys, during this sale. Just want to do this pre-sale right now, and then we're just going to go back to regular programming. Uh, keep on with the uh, the daily vlogs. Continue uh, this tour strong. So, Holler Homestead emailed us or texted us the other day. Uh, we met her at Primal Pastures. Fellow vlogger Ho Ho Holler Homestead said, "You know what? Could she just reached out? What what could we do to pray for you guys?" And uh, I get, so we thought about it, and she says, not the normal stuff, like safe travel, that kind of stuff. So I said, I, well, Rebecca said, we'll pray that we would finish strong. And so that is our wish and desire, is that we would finish strong. I think you'll see in tomorrow's vlog, I don't see why we're not going to finish strong. Very powerful vlog. Uh, one of those higher achievements. We talked about how it's so hard, how every day I want somebody to learn and laugh. And every once in a while I want them to cry, you're going to cry tomorrow. And I love those. Those are hard. Those are very hard to achieve and very meaningful and very lasting in y'all's memory. So, the link to all these goods. Hey, Ken. Uh, Rhodes Family Action Figures. I like that, Ken. I actually like that idea. We ought to do uh, Farm Hero Action Figures, right? Not just, not just Rhodes Family, right? But Joel Salatin, the ABC Acre guys. Uh, Tim Southwell, Greg Judy, we'll have some of these. Curtis Stone action figures. Randy, you gonna get on that, buddy? <laughs> that sounds like something you could you could figure out, man. Go with it if you want to. I don't care. Ken's idea. Perhaps you should do it, Ken, man. Don't make me do everything. One of y'all do it. Come on, Roman, Sin City, you do it. Jump on it. <laughs> Farm hero action figures. Let's do it. That'd be a lot of fun. Okay. Anyway. Let's get into the meat of this. I don't think we're gonna have to. We're gonna be uh, talk too long tonight. We're gonna keep on winning, right? And I'm gonna get into bed. Maybe by 10:30. That would be absolutely amazing. It's 9:30 here. 
tomorrow though, Texas boys. We're driving to see the Texas boys. Hopefully they'll get on here in the live. We can shout them out and say hey, and we're gonna see you tomorrow. So anyway, um, this is our plan. One of our stops in Alabama, well, one is a fermenting place. You know, we don't talk about cooking enough on the Great American Farm Tour. That's a big part of it. That's what it's all about. If we're growing food, why are we growing it? Well, we're growing it to eat it. Well, we better cook it well, or else it's no fun. Plain cucumbers is not nearly as fun as cream cheese and salt and pepper on there, right? Uh, raw zucchini is not nearly as fun as turning that zucchini in noodles and making a wonderful pasta out of it, okay? Uh, growing potatoes is not nearly as glamorous and exciting as potato skins with bacon and cheese on it <laughs> and some green onions sliced on it. There's a big difference, you see? See? Uh, then uh, food becomes a celebration. We learned that at Elliott Homestead. Food can be a celebration. Let's talk about cooking. Let's talk about fermenting. That's the plan in Alabama. A place of fermenting, but also uh, a place for film instruction. Do you guys remember when those guys did a documentary on us, on mine and Rebecca's success story? Uh, maybe if I have the gumption, I'll, I'll work to link that in here. I didn't know I was going to mention this. But these guys did a wonderful documentary on us. It's on YouTube somewhere. I'll have to link it. Maybe Ken will get in here or Randy Kleiman will get in here and uh, link that if they know where that's at. But otherwise, I might link it later. Anyway, they did this great documentary, Pro Guys. They live in Alabama. We became friends when they shot us, shot, our, shot that film. And we're going to go to them. And I'm going to pick their brains. I've signed up for them for a day. And we're going to talk about lighting and sound and editing tricks. Guys, believe it or not, I'm very basic in this. When I get around film guys and they start talking cameras and lens and lighting and sound, there's one of you guys have uh, emailed us and said, you know what, I want to help you out with sound. Uh, you guys are just coming through in all kinds of ways. And, and this guy wants to help me with sound. And he started talking about different things. I had no idea what he was talking about. So we're going to up their game there and get trained in sound and lighting in Alabama. And Alabama will be our last state. All of our kids, we'll all together put that last sticker on. It's just going to absolutely be crazy. You guys realize we only have four more states? Uh, it's nuts. It's unbelievable how fast it is. And it's unbelievable that this tour is going to be over in like two and a half weeks. Like the traveling part. I'm going to tell you what we're going to do after that. I get, I get, are you guys dying to know yet what we're going to do for a month before we go home? Uh, yeah, because we're pretty much going to be done with all 50 states, and there's a month. And, uh, and somebody's, uh, then we're going to go home. Let me, let me, uh, block somebody here. Okay. Ken, you're on here too. You're a, uh, you're an admin. You're welcome to block anybody, uh, that you want. And, uh, so here we go. What we're going to do in November or December is, okay, resting. Yes, you're halfway right. So the first part of December, well, we're going to go to Florida, okay? Because it's going to be, it's going to be cold at home. We're going to go to Florida. It's going to be half resting, half working. So first couple of weeks in December, oh, what you call a workcation. It's where I'll take a lot of time to work on this documentary and in the evenings or take breaks during the day, spend with the kids and whatnot. It's like where you blend vacation and work. We will actually, during that time, hey, Island Homesteader, how did you know? We will uh, feature, we will, I can tell you this, we're going to go to Full Circle Farm. This is a fan favorite. We went on them early. We will share a vlog at least an update from them and an update from Pete Canaris. I'll tell you that. But I will tell you this for sure. We will not vlog every day for almost a month. Pretty much all of December we are not going to vlog. Now we might do updates. But we're going we're gonna to take a break. We're going to take a break so that we can work a couple of weeks on this documentary and focus on that. And uh, then we can work and then we can rest for two weeks. Leslie G. We may or may not leave you hanging. Randy, sad face. This is so sad. Uh, but Jill's saying you look tired. When people ask us when we are tired, we didn't necessarily first know what to say say to that. And finally, we started saying we're exhausted. And people seem to like that answer, so I'm gonna go with it. We are exhausted because we are. 
Yes. Thank you, Ken. I appreciate that. I guys, I guys, I know you guys would support this. I won't promise this. What will me and my family watch? Ken says. Hopefully, you'll go back and watch movies you missed from us, right? So before I go off, before we go off from vlogging for that time, we will recommend different things. Of course, we will encourage you to go watch the different playlists. Hopefully, we'll. Some of you have have recommended we organize some playlists according to states and different things so hopefully we'll have our playlists organized and you can go do some of that catch up on uh, on the great american farm tour go back to the hundred days of growing food go back to when we first started there are other youtubers on here that i've introduced you guys to that you guys can go watch but i may or may not up still upload every day we might pre-upload some stuff i'm not going to promise anything so don't hold me to that there are some ideas in my head of some easy things that we could do ahead of time that we could preload that would be very interesting. At the most, it's going to be highlighting some of the things and some of the places we've already been. It's not going to be a whole lot of new con content, but maybe commentary on that new content. Uh, we have some fun and interesting and hopefully easy. We're going to try it. We are home. Michael says, you look homesick. We are very homesick and I haven't felt homesick in ever I guess so it's kind of a it's kind of a weird feeling but every once in a while like right now I can like smell the pine in our house okay and I can imagine our family eating at a table together this is our <laughs> we've been eating I mean this is great this is just wonderful but uh, it's gonna be you know we miss our big table and like Bo said the other night in the live feed, our our house is part of the show. It's part of the character. It's part of the character of our show, and you guys are missing the house. We're missing it. Um, aw, I'm get uh, you're getting all emotional, Leslie. You getting homesick too? <laughs> so, oh yes, your water, Roman. Thank you for reminding me about that. Our water uh, w from our well. Oh my goodness, it's so glorious. Our 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 known health food stores my gosh guys uh, our known products our known farmers oh I'll tell you this every every two times a year we order from we order meats that we don't grow from Warren Wilson College it's such a cool college they have a f sustainable farm programming there and we buy pork and uh, we usually don't have to buy chicken but I think we're going to buy chicken this round chicken and all that kind of stuff we put in our order as a huge order but that means that means we're going home, and we have an order there. We have cow. I can't just I can't. I'm missing just getting up in the fresh of the morning and milking that cow. The rhythm of that cow and the thoughts I get done there. But anyway, I'm veering off, guys. You guys are veering me off. I gotta stay on track here. Uh, so to sum that up, workcation for two weeks. Uh, maybe some updates for you guys during that. Maybe some daily videos. Certainly not vlogs. I can tell you that for sure no 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 vlogs in there we will give you an update on full circle farm and we will give you an update on pete canaris at dream uh, green dreams and uh, then i want to answer some of you guys questions that you asked on instagram and tonight is the nitty-gritty so what is the nitty-gritty of it people are wanting to know what types of farms we're going to feature and you guys keep firing the questions i'll hang out with you a bit here in a second after we get done with these questions uh, I'll plug the the shirts and stuff again, and then I'll I'll just hang out with you guys and answer some questions, and we'll just we'll hang out a little bit. Types of farms we're going to feature in this Great America Farm Tour. I always set out. I now people think of different things when they say farms. Probably bigger things, bigger than what I'm thinking. But the Great American Farm Tour, if you haven't noticed by now, I'll tell you straight up. It's about backyards, sustainable backyards, homesteads, and farms. So it's the full spectrum. I mean, I was tickled to death when we when we met somebody at the Illinois meetup that was growing one tomato plant in a pot. Okay, that's a that in my opinion, she's growing something, she's planting, she's farming. And then we went all the way, probably to our grandest scale, was that eight thousand acre, hundred year old ranch in Hawaii. With that farm was so big they had their own church building. Remember that. <laughs> Ohio. You know what I think of when I think of Ohio? I think of Layman's store. I think of Amish country. Did you guys know there's more Amish in Ohio than in Pennsylvania? I think of uh, 
the hand hewn boys that's where their farm is those guys who helped us butcher their pig i want to encourage you guys somebody said in the comments somewhere don't forget the early on stops you know at some point i think i want to poll you guys and see what your favorite like an official poll what your favorite uh stops were but don't forget the early guys the full circle farm the green dreams uh i would hope to uh maybe in the documentary and maybe a special video for youtube highlight these um uh, underdogs these uh, underrated farms these farms that we have uncovered that should be more well known and for whatever reason they aren't John Suskovich uh, these far like full circle farm more people should know about them of course there's this family that could be in the family in America growing their 90 or more percent of their own food and making a thriving business out of it together as a family okay not too many people knew about them uh, J uh, John Arbuckle, Rome Sticks, Kali, value adding pork uh, and shipping it across the country as a healthy pork stick, like a beef jerky type of thing, but with pork and not tough, J absolutely delicious. And what was cool about his farm, my gosh, he had mobile shade mobiles. He was gr he had systems where he was feeding his pigs 100% from his farm, guys. That's nuts. <laughs> That's nuts. So there are some underrated folks on, I've counted eight in my own head. ABC Acres is one of those that are underrated that should be known, should be known by every every single body in this community. The beekeeper, uh, Bill Castro, I might add him to the list. I've, uh, and I'm t when I say that, the underrated, I mean they're doing a great job and aren't as well known as they should be. There are plenty of people that are well known. Jim, he was on my list. Jim, nobody knows about nobody knows about Jim. I don't even know if he's got a website. I think he has a Facebook. Uh, everybody knows about Back to Eden, though. It was awesome. There are awesome places like Joel Salton, Back to Eden, uh, even John Siskovich. Maybe he's maybe not enough people know about John, but I feel like uh, these people uh, they don't, you know people know about Curtis Stone. See, they're all doing great things. Don't get me wrong, but people know about them so I kind of want to uncover these people that are doing great things that nobody knows about anyway uh, kids somebody wants to know the kids rules of the farm okay so why I'm going to Alabama is I'm having this guy teach me how to set up interviews inside this bus to where my family including the kids and the beautiful one will tell the story of the great American farm tour I do this sometimes in the blog not that much maybe not as much as I would like to but it's kind of more of like a, a documentary style where you have the talking head. I do it in my mini documentaries, but it will be our family and our kids' per perspective telling the story. It won't be a total shock to you guys because I do it a little bit, especially in the uh, micro doc documentaries I create, which um, I created a playlist for those guys, and I'm about to I'm about to finish that up. So we'll have a micro documentary playlist on YouTube, and uh, probably at least the different states. And uh, so, it bringing in the kids for sure, because they're a huge part of this. Also, they're a big part of what helps me accomplish my goal of learning and laughter. For sure, laughter of the kids. Don't they bring us so many giggles? Don't we just giggle a lot at those little guys? They're so much fun, and they bring smiles to people's faces, and we definitely got to include them certainly uh, Roman because the kids are our future and uh, I already answered the second note somebody was wondering about the style and I believe I I, I think if you guys notice I, I like to think it's classic Justin Rhodes style well oftentimes when I do a vlog or especially the micro documentary I'll cut between stories it's just like classic like here today when you see our movie tomorrow we film this this couple that um, are of the retirement age who have had some health issues and have to slow down their farm so this morning we went on a tour of their farm you got a glimpse of them in today's vlog we went on a tour of their farm and then I interviewed them I think I included four questions in the interview and then I didn't put the tour of the farm and then the then the interview Somewhere along the line of this Great American Farm Tour, I began to mix that up. And I think it mixes it up for the chiddlers. It's just a little more interesting. Just breaks it up from the talking head. So they'll, we'll have a little bit of uh, action. 
that's where we're out in the field doing chores or something like that and then it'll be it'll cut to interview and then it'll be action again and it'll be interview and it's not that I don't interview during the action time I do that too I like to mix it up but there'll be a lot of that so I think it'll if somehow I can somehow include 50 states I mean it something from if 50 states it's gonna be a feat though gosh if I only gave each state three minutes that would be a two and a half hour movie but uh, Delaware is only two counties and we did only go to a park in Delaware Delaware so <laughs> but then how you like Alaska oh my gosh maybe just uh, it's it's gonna be crazy uh, maybe it just needs to be a series of shots from every single state with some yeah I, I don't know it's gonna it's gonna be nuts so so then we have the overall story in the timeline like in order but then we have these insights that we've picked up along the way, and uh, just one is an example that we've talked about uh, talked about on this show is that people are content. We've learned that, and we've, we've learned the different climates and stuff like that. And then we've learned um, things that we're going to apply to our own farm. Okay, so yeah, Roman, you liked all the Alaska videos. I did too. Honestly, they're some of my favorite videos. That's probably one of my favorite playlists. Uh, so again, for everyone who may be new to this series and these live shows, is that hopefully this documentary points people to the YouTube, to the to 365 days, and then, or not the, the whole full tour, and then hopefully the full tour on YouTube leads the people to the documentary, and hopefully they complement each other. Hopefully they're companions. I think you'll get in more inside perspectives from us in the documentary than you will on YouTube. Because it's going to be more scripted, uh, it will be more edited, so I think we'll feel safer to share more about uh, what's going on and what's our full story. The wild horses, oh my gosh, I know, the wild horses. People are voting for a three hour movie, I don't know. Um, then... Um, Last, lastly, and this, 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 this goes into our plug. Somebody's wanting to know if it's for sale at once we release it. So we hope to release it February seventeenth. When that's when we took off, and I, I shouldn't say release. I should say premiere it. And you know, I guess it's gonna probably be. Now it's probably, guys. It's still a ways off, but probably it'll be like in the movie theaters. Like here, it's premiered. People can see it. But they can't have the DVD yet or the digital download that it still needs some work. It's still got to go to production, that type of thing. It's kind of like when you go to the movies, you have to wait a little bit for the DVD. I think I think I see why that happens now. It's kind of easier just to get it into a form to get it to the people and then get it to its physical form to where it gets delivered. We just want to get it out there. We just want to get it out there, don't we? And I don't want to prolong this. Should I take longer? Oh my gosh, we're going to hit the ground running on the farm in January and really I don't. I don't want to go I don't want to go further than the day we left. Like that, that's the anniversary. That's such a special day. That's the goal. Are we going to make it? I don't know. We had set off to leave for this farm tour January 1st. You guys know the problems we came into. We didn't leave till like February 17th. But it actually turned out really well because we even as it is, we spent a lot of time in Florida. I can imagine even spending that much more time. So it, it worked out well. So yes, it's going to be for sale. But right now, so it'll be for sale. But it'll just be the film. And we'll have bonuses and stuff like that. And uh, by the way, though, if you get in on this pre-order right now, you will get any future bonuses. The pre-order is 20% off. It's kind of like the Kickstarter. It's kind of, Kickstarter is a pre-order. Okay, this guy's a super great deal. Now you can get on a pre-order. It's a good deal. And then we'll go into the launch of the thing uh, probably in, towards the end of February, March. So um, these t-shirts, though, and the mugs, it's going to be novelty. It's, it's, go, it's going away. So it's going away Sunday at 7 p.m. You guys, uh, the link is down in the description. Fire away. Here I am. I'm ready to focus. Um, could you talk about some of the gardening you plan to do when you get home? Heck yes. Don't get me started. Um, gardening when we get home, and let me answer this question before you fire away because I, I won't miss it. And Beauty's not here with me. She's getting some rest. Uh, all the kids are asleep. Oh my. 
I want, okay, Curtis Stone, Joel Salatin, they have these systems. And they know these systems, but then they've outlined these systems. I have my own systems that I think it's time to outline, and I hope to do that. When I get home, you talk about gardening, I'm, I'm the chicken ninja master. I gotta include chickens in practically everything on my farm. And there are systems that I've proven being back home. You guys remember, I've been homesteading for 10 years before this and been experimenting for at least five. So running the chickens in a system that go ahead of the garden, I mean, they can do so much for you. Till, fertilize, uh, make compost, spread mulch, spread amendments. Uh, and at the same time, plants being grown and then moving the chickens out and plant them in. Now, going a step further and having so enough of those so that you can go around in a system long enough that by the time you get back even if you planted pumpkins you can run the chickens in to clean it up i want to experiment in things like cover crops instead of uh, wood chips not because i'm i'm not a fan of wood chips i can get all the wood chips i want but not everybody can and uh, if we could do cover crops that might be more sustainable so these are all kinds of experiments uh, somebody asked me if I'm going to do a ch build a chick shop. Bo asked me if I'm going to build a chick shop when I get home. Yes. You guys remember, we're starting at a clean slate. It's going to be fun because we're starting at a clean slate and we know what we're doing. I mean, I'm not saying we know everything, but that's going to be a lot of fun because what does somebody who had a great idea of what he was doing and then learned even more on a tour like this, what is somebody like that going to do with a clean slate? <laughs> it's going to be good. So... How am I going to change my chick, chick, chick shawl? Actually, it's going to be more simplified, automated. And I might make a chick shawl mini-me. I dream of making a chick shawl mini-me because many people don't need a chick shawl six feet by six feet. What about a four foot by four foot? And then you could climb the Rocky Mountains with that thing. Okay, if you're just putting a dozen chickens in there. And I could follow my cows even on my north slip where it's super steep. I could even follow my cows three days behind with the chickens and, uh, and various things. So... When we get home, starting seeds immediately. Uh, even though technically in North Carolina you're not supposed to plant anything, the first thing you could plant is Feb in February, and that'd be onions. But I'm gonna try anyway, January 2nd. Uh, bees, bees uh, will be happening. Uh, be in, I'll be in touch with Bill Castro uh, whenever he thinks it's easiest to get start with bees. He's gonna get me started. Uh, Hey, you gonna come? Poke your head in? I'm just wrapping yeah. it up. I'm just talking to people now. Everybody, this is uh, my wife, Rebecca, aka Beautiful One. <laughs> oh, you tell her, Gregory. They must be on a little bit of delay. Oh, somebody, <laughs> Leslie G, saying good morning. Good Are morning. Are you from Australia? Oh, everybody's saying hi. Look, the 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 comments start flying when Beautiful One gets in here. Hey guys, you're married. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, she does wake up. You, wake up you feel rested? Night. Actually, I wasn't asleep. Oh, I know. You were resting. Oh, yeah. I said you were resting. I guess they assumed you were asleep. No. I was just laying down. I am tired. I'm exhausted. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we should say maybe when we plan to have meetups. Or meetups. Yep. Uh, we will have a... Meet up. We only have three meetups left, guys. Yeah. And don't kill us if it's not near you. But it's, it's going to be near Dallas, Texas. We already announced that one. That one's on our Texas meetup video. And then, where's the other one? In Mississippi. And that's in northern Mississippi. Oxford, Mississippi. Oxford, Mississippi. And then, where's the other one? Oklahoma. And then, Oklahoma. I know we've had to skip some states all across America on these meetups. But there's not always a place. There's not always a host. And there's not always time, so we're sorry. Yeah. And we're not always strong enough. So, uh, you don't have to wait to see the pre-order. The pre-order, there's links to it down below in the description. But you might mean the finished product. And a lot of kick some Kickstarters are saying, do I have to get this? No, you don't have to get this. It's coming to you. Uh, yep. Oxford, Ole Miss. So now I'm just... Oh, what's written on my head? Oh, we showed the 
Sometimes when we go to host, we show them their movie <laughs> when we get it done the night before, before it airs tomorrow. And we showed them the movie, and I kind of rushed to do it so they could see it. And this is all the mistakes <laughs> that you saw. in the vlog that I saw. And then you had one on top of it. Yeah. I, don't, I didn't have my notebook. Where was my notebook? I don't know. Good question. Love from Washington. Yeah. Love you too. What? What's yes. the best meat chicken? Oh my gosh, we love the Cornish Cross. And you, somebody asked about what we're going to do for gardens. We're going to jam the Cornish Cross too, guys. We got some good experiments with those inspired by this tour. You know, that lady didn't even, there was one lady, what, uh, she didn't have a coop for them. She just put them under a shed. Yeah. She didn't have an electric net, did she? <laughs> my gosh. We're at least going to put them in an electric net. Well, but Jason then cutting their feed. No, I guess net. he didn't. And, and then maybe with the dawn of guard dogs at our house, we'll be okay. But we're going to push the limits with Cornish Cross as far as maybe we'll put an electric net at first, but then we have that poultry pen and are automatically cutting what they would normally get for feed down to 20%. And then, because they're free range, and can get that from the land. And then fermenting it, so cutting it, uh, or, or soaking it, at least cutting it down 15%. So like cutting it 35%. So I'm ready to like push it with the Cornish Cross and get that down to a very reasonable price. Feeding them or expensive organic feed, but because they're free ranging and moving and on grass very early. And that, that I've been inspired by the guy in Hawaii mm -hmm. who puts the chicks on grass at day one. Yeah. I don't see why we couldn't do that when it's warm. I mean, we're not gonna do that in March. Right. But when it's warm, come on. Okay, someone said no Freedom Rangers. We might do an experiment. We've talked oh, that about would doing be an fun. experiment. But for some reason, I'm not a fan of Freedom Rangers. But well, we wouldn't it be some... fun to like? What was the third one? We were gonna maybe like do three meat meat chickens together, and so that we could. Cause I'm I would like to be into experimenting and keeping track of numbers and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and when you guys say how much did you pay for those chickens, I'll say it, and then how much how much did it cost you to feed them? We'll say it. Or we'll at least have poundage because feed costs vary. Were we going to do like a Jersey Giant or something? Like a no, there's Ranger another meat chicken. Oh, Jersey. we got to remember this. It was some other new kind of thing. Somebody told us about it. Oh, uh, boy. It wasn't in the vlog. We, See, didn't, we didn't write it down. We've lived so much life. There was another variety of meat chickens that somebody was bragging on. I think I found it. And it wasn't a jersey. It wasn't like a oh, traditional. Oh, I found it. No, it it's wasn't a, a Red cross. Ranger. It was a cross. Oh, you found it. So you can find it again. Between a Cornish. Nope. Bard Rocks is a heritage traditional breed. It was a... Nope. Not the Icelandic. Although we want to experiment with them as egg layers. We want to experiment with Icelandics as egg layers and brown leghorns as egg layers. There is one. It was like a, a dark Cornish or something like that. I'll have to look it up. The first animal when we get back, well, Amy and Arun have a chicken, but that's their chicken. Yeah. Uh, would you say, when's the cow coming? The week of, the first week of January. The first week of January? I'm pretty safe to say that <laughs> the family cow <laughs> is going to be the first. I mean, maybe we could beat it to it with some chickens if, if Pat, our breeder, has some chickens ready to go. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Well, shoot. This live went longer than any of the rest. I thought it was going to be shorter. Anyway, guys, we better get off of here. I don't want to intimidate anybody. I want them to get on here and watch this replay. Uh, yeah, we'll probably uh, hatch some eggs, maybe. Well, the folks back home always the, knew it was a temporary situation. The and cow know we're is coming bread. home. Yeah. And uh, we're not sure of their plans yet. And I'm not sure if they know. But. I don't think they know. I think they have some ideas so. floating around. And I think that we've been talking to them. And so we are not staying at a farm in Mississippi. We are staying at somebody who applied to be on the vlog. And they have like a backyard. Um, maybe I guess you could call it an urban farm. They live like really close to the... Um, are they selling their produce? I don't. Just I somebody. Don't just some one of you guys growing amazing stuff in their backyard. We'll find out. Okay, we better wrap it up. Yeah. I'm sorry we can't answer all your questions. Hang out. We need to go to bed because we're leaving early. Yeah. Texas boys. Hey, Tom Paul. Tom Paul. Love you too. Love you, buddy. It was so good to see you. We will see. Good night, Randy. 
All right. Let's... Smart stutter. Yeah, I actually need to look at that. <laughs> I was I was one of the people who was supposed to look at it and I never did it. Okay. It's a new app. Good night, Thank everybody. Thank you for the well wishes.